So after multiple tries of getting this thing to connect, I finally pulled this the uh, the diagnostic connector out of the dash. So I've got it pulled out. I took a pick and I just went into each one of these little uh, deals and just kind of uh, pulled the tab up so that it would make a better connection. I think I finally got a good solid uh, log so uh, or connection. So okay, so we got the computer the, the cable plugged in down here under the dash. We got it in the computer, um, and the uh, USB, just a regular USB port. It doesn't seem to like the uh, the fast USB, so it's only it's only supposed to transfer at a certain rate. So I'm using got uh, Tuner Pro RT. Um, and then what we need, what I need to tell you about is there's two files. There's an ADX file which is called a, a, a data acquisition or acquire data file. And what this does, it'll take the data that it's reading and uh, save it to your computer. And there's an XDF file, which is a transfer uh, data onto your your uh, computer in the car. So I have already got the uh, what you can see. I know you can't see that, but it's a it's an ADX file. I put a link to it on the on the video at some point. And uh, I got it off of the Gearhead EFI. And RT Tuner uh, Tuner Pro RT will come with its own uh, ADX and XDF file, but uh, you can find others if you well, like the way they are. So um, these files are written by users; they're not written by any uh, uh, company or uh, a dealer. So these are all pretty much uh, open source type deal. So. Right now, uh, you see the blue down there. It says I am connected. So uh, once I got, once I read in the acquisition file, uh, I can uh, acquire data. And so what you not, what, but you're not seeing anything. So let's go to uh, data monitors. So right here, you can see that it's it's my computer's on or my my car's on. So it's reading. Uh, the current state of the car with with no uh, without it running it's just sitting still so this is uh, the bottom one is the transmission and tuning data for the middle one and the top one is vital signs so what you can also do is uh, come down here and say show dash and what I'm going to do is select the log dash so this is pretty much telling you everything you need to know and the display is not it's kind of messed up so I need to get that uh, get that taken care of or see if I can figure out how to fix it but I'm gonna turn the car on so you can see what happens See my throttle position sensor, manifold absolute pressure sensor, engine speed. Uh, you've got your coolant temperature over here. Uh, like I said this is uh, INT. You don't really know what that's all about, but. did uh, make a successful log and I'll be posting that up at some point so uh, what you would do to save is you would hit this record button it'll start recording and then you can just hit stop whenever you're done and uh, then you can just kind of analyze it so over here this is a big long list of all of the error codes you can get so I'm not quite sure how to how to look at those yet so this is just a basic understanding of how to turn the software on and get it to uh, acquire data so let's just say I'm done I'm gonna hit the uh, stop transfer so now you see the yellow is do not is uh, not connected so it's not doing anything so this is just the first quick video of how how this works so 
hopefully my next ones will be uh, a bit more detailed.